Good morning, Calvary. Uh, we're wrapping up our uh, kind of look at favorite Bible characters today, and I get to conclude this by talking about one of my favorite guys in the New Testament. Uh, he, he's not a major player in the story. He's mentioned between Acts 5 and 15 uh, multiple times. He had a tremendous impact on the early church. Uh, but it's a guy that you, you probably are familiar with his name, but not much about him. His name is Barnabas. Uh, he's actually given the name Joseph, uh, but Barnabas was a nickname that he earned with his life because Barnabas means son of encouragement. And, uh, and I love that because Barnabas is seen, uh, the very first time we see him, he's donating money to the, the early church. They can give out to people who are in need, and he's just making this generous offer to people. He's encouraging them that way. Uh, and then Barnabas is sent to the, the brand new church at Antioch to teach them and oversee them and, and to make sure they're doing things kosher. And, and uh, he goes there and when he gets there, he, he decides that he needs help and he goes and finds this guy named Paul of Tarsus that we know as the Apostle Paul. And, and the Apostle Paul was dramatically saved, but he wasn't welcomed into the church because he'd been a persecutor of the church. He'd been killing Christians and people just didn't trust him. And so Paul went home uh, for over a decade. He wasn't involved in the life of the church. And Barnabas went to Tarsus and found Paul and brought him to Antioch to help him with the new church. And so he was a recruiter of people who could make a difference in the lives of others. And I love that about him. And then when uh, Paul and Barnabas went on the very first missionary journey, they went out from the church at Antioch and, and uh, went to preach the gospel all over the Mediterranean. Uh, Barnabas recruited a young man named John Mark. Uh, he's significant because he's the author of the Gospel of Mark. And Barnabas took him along, but uh, on that journey, he got homesick. He left and went back home. I kind of abandoned them midway through the journey. So on the second missionary journey, as Paul and Barnabas are getting ready to go, Barnabas wants to take John Mark with him. Uh, Paul says no, and they actually split and went different ways. So Paul continued his missionary journeys. We have those recorded in the book of Acts. And Barnabas, we don't hear from again, but he went on a missionary journey as well. So that's what we kind of know about Barnabas. And the reason I love him as a character is because he was the son of encouragement. He was somebody who encouraged people. He encouraged them to be generous. He encouraged them to use their gifts and abilities for Christ. He gave people a second chance. Uh, you know, with John Mark into the fact that he didn't give up on him. Just because he, he failed early, Barnabas went back after him and said, hey, come on, I want you to be part of this work. And God used John Mark significantly. In fact, later in his ministry, Paul in one of his letters actually said, send John Mark to me. He's very useful to me. Uh, in other words, Paul was wrong and he admitted it. Uh, so why does that resonate with me? It's because I want to be an encourager. I want to be somebody that encourages people to love Jesus, encourages people to use their gifts for Jesus, encourages people to be generous in the name of Jesus, encourages people to make a difference for the kingdom of God. And, and that's my goal. And I hope it's your goal. Because uh, it'll make a, a huge difference in your life and in the lives of the people around you if you become a son of encouragement. Um, It'll make a difference in your marriage if you're encouraging of your spouse. It's so easy to nag and nitpick and criticize and complain. But if you become an encourager of your spouse, it'll help them to blossom and to become what God intended them to become. If you become an encourager of your children, it'll make a huge difference in their lives. Uh, look, as a parent, I know you can always find something they're doing wrong. You can always complain about their room or they didn't do their chores or they're not working hard enough in school or whatever it is. But the reality is, when was the last time you caught your kids doing something right and commended them for that? See, we're always looking for what they're doing wrong, but are you looking for what they're doing right? If, if so, you can become that encourager to them to be the children of God that he's created them to be. Uh, what about the people at work? You know, if you're always looking to take the credit and to get, you know, one up on people, uh, you're never going to be an encourager. But if you'll look and, and celebrate with people their successes, what they're doing right, how, what they're doing well, the victories that they have, then you'll become a son of encouragement. And, it, and as you start doing this in your life, you know what comes back to you? Encouragement. You know, you're going to reap what you sow. Uh, if you sow to the flesh, you're from the flesh going to reap destruction. But if you sow to the Spirit, you'll from the Spirit reap eternal life. And being an encourager is sowing to the Spirit. So I'm going to encourage you today to be a Barnabas, to be a son of encouragement, 
and to look at the people in your life and figure out how you can encourage them. Hey, one way you can encourage me, Calvary, is uh, tell us who you uh, really relate to in Scripture. Who's your favorite character in Scripture? I'm not asking you to say who's your favorite devotion that we shared, but who do you love in the Bible and relate to? And just send us an email and tell us why. Why do you love, you know, Peter or Paul or Barnabas or Joseph or Gideon or David or Samuel or somebody else? Why do you love them? Why do you relate to them? And share that story with us. That would be encouraging to me. And uh, I think it'll be encouraging to you. And let's all be encouragers together in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you.